How's it going everyone? Juan Romero here from Switchwatch. Are you ready for your wallets to be destroyed? Because this week is a colossal week on the Nintendo Switch. Lots of great games dropping. Let us know in the comments down below which ones you're looking forward to the most. Without further ado, let's get into this breakdown this week and check out all these quality games. We start with my pick of the week, which is Minecraft Dungeons, which is inspired by classic dungeon crawlers and set in the Minecraft universe. Who doesn't love a bit of Minecraft? Shut up and take my money. You can go solo here or with a team of four online. There's treasure to find, loads of action in the varied levels on offer, all in aid to save the villagers and take down the evil Arch Illager. I think this one will excite a lot of people in this game packed week. Is this one though that you're looking forward to? I certainly am and as I said, my pick of the week for $19.99, £16.74 and €19.99 due to drop on the 26th. The Orb of Dominance. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. Come on James and Jordan, I know you've been dying to tell us your picks this week. Hey everyone, Jordan here with my pick of the week. Apologies for my voice right now, I've been under the weather this past week, hoping to get well in time for physicals on Monday. It's a massive episode, as I'm sure you'll get a flavour for from this video that Juan has put together. Uh, anyways, for me, my pick of the week is none other than Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Shut up and take my money. The original game was easily one of the best JRPGs of all time and was a wonderful swan song for the Wii. I loved it on that console, I loved it on my 3DS, and you sure as hell can bet that I'm gonna love it on the Switch in glorious HD, added content plus smoothing out some of the overall experience. This surely has to be counted amongst the greatest Switch games and it's not even out yet. Anyone else planning on buying this for a third time or am I the only crazy one out there? Do let me know. Alright, that's my pick of the week guys. I'm gonna get a lem sip, curl into a ball and try to get better for Monday. There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. Hey everyone, it's James here with my pick of the week. Well, if you've not heard of Borderlands by now, then you have been missing out. It's been on other platforms, and in this collection, you get Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Borderlands 2, and Borderlands The Tray sequel. Wallet Buster. Along with boatloads of added on content, which amounts to over 100 hours of gameplay, all of which can be enjoyed solo, two player split screen, or four players online co op. This really does cover all bases. If you love shooters, especially with a friend, then no doubt this is one you need to pick up, whether it's a double dip or for the first time. We just cannot wait to play this on the move. Thank you very much guys, some great picks there. Resolution is an indie game which has a bit about it. I like the visual style as soon as I saw it. Here as an old killer you escort an AI through chaotic combat and solve puzzles. The future is fractured but it is one you get to explore and unravel its mystery. Available on the 28th of May for £17.99, £19.99 in both the US and in Europe.
Let's Sing 2020 is due to drop on the 28th of May in America. It's already been available for a short time in the EU. And for singers amongst you, well, Let's Sing 2020 allows you to sing solo or with up to six people in total with a wide variety of songs featuring Rita Ora, Queen and more. And it will allow you to also buy song packs if you want to. And you can also use your phone as a mic, which is quite novel. It's not for me, but I'm sure this will be enjoyed by those aspiring singers or those who just want to have fun with friends and family and have a sing song. A Tommy Crops had me at Raw Fury, always publishing some great indie games, and this looks like it could be a winner with a mix of Stardew Valley and Enter the Gungeon. What is not to like? That's a buy for me right there. The visuals when I saw the trailer and the humor, my money had already left my account for a pre order. Here, the farm gets blown to crap due to an atomic bomb, but you survive as you were lucky enough to be in the bomb shelter. Now, you have all sorts of bizarre post nuclear pests to take down who want to eat up your crops. So you're a farmer and a killer and between all of that you can even get married. I mean there's always time to get married, right? <laughs> <laughs> In a week like this, it's easy for games like Little Misfortune to get lost. I'm looking forward to this. It's an interactive story game which focuses on exploration and its characters. There's a darkness here and choices do have consequences. If you've heard of the video game from Fran Bao, which was created by Kill Monday Games, then this should be something to look forward to. Certainly one that I'm going to be picking up. Of course. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. Oh, that's really sweet of you. I'm going out to play, Mommy! <gasps> I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It's probably just your imagination. Shantae and the Seven Sirens is due to drop May 28th for $29.99. It's one of my favorite games to kick back and enjoy on the Switch, and I've enjoyed all previous outings, with this now being the fifth installment, where she gains new fusion magic abilities, and she'll be exploring a vast sunken city, which is going to be water, and I love exploring sunken cities in games. Always gets my imagination working overdrive. Will there be sharks, dolphins, some unknown creatures? Anyways, this is going to be her biggest adventure yet and obviously this is probably going to be another way forward masterclass cannot wait to play it on the switch bug fables the everlasting sapling is another game that's due on the 28th of may for 25 dollars an rpg with bugs and adventure i'm certainly up for something maybe a little bit different these three heroes are looking for treasure as they embark on an epic quest of immortality when are rpg quests ever unepic well actually there's a game called unepic which is pretty epic anyway i digress we have platforming and you can explore using the character's unique abilities and it also mixes in some turn-based combat for good measure i actually quite like the sound of this but with so many games releasing this week this will be lost amongst it all or will it only you'll decide that Well, Take-Two Interactive had decided to bankrupt us all this week. Another massive collection from Take-Two Interactive. We have the amazing Bioshock Remastered, Bioshock 2 Remastered, and Bioshock Infinite all in one package with a single player add-on content all included. And if you've never had the chance to explore the Undercity of Rapture, then now is the time to do so because this is an absolutely fantastic FPS game and even now stands the test of time. Again, a collection I cannot wait to get my hands on to play at home and on the move.
Lastly, this week we have XCOM 2. I mean, if one collection wasn't enough, two collections wasn't enough, we have three collections. This is XCOM 2, the collection due to drop May 29th and all on the same day. I mean, they could have spread it out a little to give our wallet some breathing space, but no. This is an award-winning strategy game which can now be played on your Switch, including all the DLC. And again, we cannot wait to be double dipping on this one. That's it for this week, folks. We really hope that you've enjoyed this colossal week on the Nintendo Switch. What are you looking forward to playing and picking up the most? If you had to make a choice, which would it be from all of these? Again, let us know in the comment section down below. And before I leave you for this afternoon, I wanted to let you know that if you are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell because if your wallet is hurting now, then wait till tomorrow when James will let you know about all the great games you can pick up on sale. And if that was not enough, Jordan will be letting you know on Monday all the physical games that are dropping and he's told me it's going to be massive. Thanks to all of our subscribers and members for your support. It means the world to us. We'll see you very soon indeed. Putting some great videos up now so you can check those out if you don't want to leave us just yet. Stay safe. See you soon and we'll see you on the next one.